you're curious about learning how the elemental diet works in great detail and what conditions it can be used for this video is for you what's up and welcome to the video i'm dr daniel ricciardi gut health expert licensed pharmacist fitness enthusiast creator of SIBO shortcut and the gut health supplement bloat blocker in this video we're going to discuss three things number one what the elemental diet is two some of the conditions that it may be useful for including allergic conditions irritable bowel disease small intestinal Intestinal bacterial overgrowth and intestinal methanogen overgrowth, celiac disease, and several more. And then number three, the exact science of how and why the elemental diet may be useful. And as a quick disclaimer, the information provided in this video is for informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. All right, question number one, what is the elemental diet? The elemental diet is a liquid-based nutrition plan that's meant to provide all the essential nutrients in their most basic pre-digested form. When I say nutrients, I'm referring to amino acids from proteins, simple carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. Since these nutrients are already broken down for your digestive system, it basically requires very minimal effort. Question number two, what conditions is the elemental diet potentially useful for? To assist us in answering this question, I looked at this very recent 2024 comprehensive review by the Journal of Digestive Diseases and Sciences that pooled the previous available research on the elemental diet. Pooling this data is pretty useful because sometimes if you look at one study, it may show no benefit, whereas a lot of the other studies showed benefit. So if you kind of group them and average them all together, it can become easier to draw conclusions from the data. The first condition I'll talk about is eosinophilic esophagitis. This is basically when you have allergic inflammation in your esophagus, which can make swallowing really difficult to do because it's very painful. This is caused by a buildup of eosinophils, which are a special type of white blood cell. There's quite a few studies looking at this exact condition. And this review found that overall exclusive elemental diets, meaning you don't eat additional food with them, appear to be highly effective in the induction or remission of EOE, eosinophilic esophagitis. Of note as well, for this particular condition, most patients use this elemental diet for four or more weeks, which is a longer period of time. For eosinophilic gastritis, same kind of thing as the esophagus, but this time in the stomach, it showed that this condition appears to be highly responsive to an exclusive elemental diet as well. And the study done in this video was actually six weeks of elemental diet. Next condition is IBD or inflammatory bowel disease. This blanket term refers to two specific autoimmune conditions, the first being Crohn's disease and the second being ulcerative colitis. There's not really strong data that shows that elemental diet may be useful for ulcerative colitis at this point, but there is good data for Crohn's disease. This review concluded that a three to six week elemental diet appears to be effective in inducing clinical endoscopic and histological remission of Crohn's disease disease, meaning it went away. Next condition is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, aka SIBO, and intestinal methanogen overgrowth, or IMO. This is kind of my main area of expertise and what I help clients with, and I've had good success using the elemental diets and treating patients with SIBO and IMO. The elemental diet provides an alternative option to treat patients who are refractory, meaning they tried other treatments before and they didn't work, can't tolerate antibiotics, or I'll throw an anti-herbal treatment approach. I've also found personally that using an elemental diet has the potential to work much stronger than the antibiotics or antimicrobial herbs. There's two main studies that looked at the elemental diet with SIBO. One of them had an 80% remission rate when looking at patients with hydrogen SIBO. And then the other one had 100% of the patients with hydrogen SIBO had remission of SIBO and 58% of people that had methanogen overgrowth had remission. And this is based on a follow-up lactulose breath test. And if you're looking for help with SIBO or IMO, check out my program, SIBO Short shortcut where you get all my personal best recommendations for treating these conditions, as well as ongoing support from me in my private Facebook group. Click the link below that says SIBO shortcut to learn more and sign up. Moving on with the conditions, we have celiac disease. Overall, limited data suggests a potential role for elemental diet and treatment of refractory celiac disease. And lastly, we have chronic pancreatitis and acute pancreatitis. There is a little bit of data showing that elemental diet may help with chronic pancreatitis, but not
not so much for acute pancreatitis. Moving on now, question number three, the science behind how and why the elemental diet may be useful. First reason, it basically bypasses most of your digestive tract. Because elemental diet requires minimal digestion as it passes through the stomach, it basically all gets absorbed in the very beginning portion of your small intestine. So the rest of your small intestine and large intestine is basically resting and not doing any digestion during this period. And for people with intestinal issues, this can be a really good thing because it gives your body a rest from digesting food and the cells in your intestine can regenerate and heal. The second reason elemental diet may be useful is that proteins are already broken down into amino acids in these formulations. Therefore, it's less likely to cause allergic reactions and may make it helpful for treating diseases caused by allergies such as the eosinophilic esophagitis. Some of these amino acids as well, such as glutamine, are really good for helping the lining of the small intestine heal and grow, working to help correct leaky gut, which is really common with a lot of these conditions that we're talking about. For people that have a lot of trouble digesting food and can't seem to maintain weight, the elemental diet may help do that because the calories from this diet are a lot easier to absorb. And for some people, you may be able to ingest less calories of the elemental diet and still maintain your weight okay for this exact reason. On the elemental diet, because most of the food gets absorbed right away, you're probably not going to be pooping as much or if you are in less quantity. For conditions such as Crohn's disease, this can be helpful in healing the large intestine. And then lastly, while some of the elemental diets do contain some undesirable ingredients, a lot of them have much cleaner ingredients and don't include things such as emulsifiers, artificial sweeteners, and food colorings. If you want to see a list of elemental diets that I prefer, click the link below that says full script and you'll get 20% off elemental diets and everything else. All right, final note, we talked about the good things about the elemental diet or potential good things. Now there is some drawbacks as well. In particular, there's four that I'm going to highlight right now. The first one is the taste. There's a lot of complaints about the taste on the elemental diet. Granted, there's a wide variety of different products. Certain ones I'm sure are tolerated better than others. But according to these studies, there is a 41% discontinuation of treatment due to taste by patients. Number two is the cost. These typically are not covered by insurance. And even a two week round of treatment with the elemental diet can easily be between $500 and $1,000. Dr. Allison Seebecker has a slightly cheaper at home version that you can mix up yourself. And I'm going to put a link down in the description below if you'd like to check that out. That one, when I ran the numbers, I think it comes out to about $350 for a two week treatment. Third drawback of elemental diet is access. Depending on where you live, obtaining the elemental diet or a wide variety of options for the elemental diet can be a real challenge. And then the fourth and final drawback in a typical conventional elemental diet, you're not supposed to be eating other food with the diet, which sounds kind of extreme. And I guess it kind of is doing this for two weeks. However, if you want the elemental diet to work to the best of its potential, it may be a good idea to avoid all other real food during this time period. All right, that is all for today. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel below for more related content. If you have tried the elemental diet, I'd love to hear about your experience in the comments below. Please let us know what condition you used it for, how long you used it for, if it worked, and anything else about your experience you're willing to share. If you're new to my channel, I post a new video every Monday in YouTube shorts throughout the week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.